My project is on the Beringia Land Bridge. The brown part is the Beringia Land Bridge. White part is Asia. Green part is America. And this is a project about Attila the Hun. He was a ruthless king and leader. This is a picture of some of the villages that he burned down and they let out pollution, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Okay. This project is a social studies project-based learning approach to learning in, in which the students are engaged in the process where uh, the curriculum is given to them and where students uh, have a lot of choice in the matter. Students are allowed to select a particular topic that relates to Asia. Uh, with that topic, the approval part on my part comes with aligning their essential question to that of the curriculum. And it basically is flipping your classroom or giving them the freedom and the choice to decide how they want to go about showing evidence of their learning with the grade level content expectations. So well, the project-based learning approaches more or less empowers the students in their learning process and allows them to uh, take ownership in their learning. And, and really the, the, the data, the research shows the long-term effects of their learning uh, much deeper than a traditional standard method. So it's that old 90% rule of what you teach others you will obtain and learn and well obviously it's, it's happening here. Pictures of their houses that they built. Okay. And this is a map of stuff that they built in their country. So you got Great Wall of China, 